Hello and welcome to a new video on the String Matrix channel. Today's video is again a string presentation, but this time it's not a set by Pirastro. I know many of you may wonder why I present so many strings by Pirastro. The reason is just that Pirastro sent me quite a lot of strings to test. So of course I'm happy to present these on my YouTube channel. But another company that regularly sends me some test strings is Gutterlike. And I received a couple of weeks ago this set, the Gutterlike Swing Kings. Many of you know the Swing Master strings by Gutterlike. Well, the Swing Kings are very close to the Swing Masters. Actually, the G and the D strings are the same. So the only difference is the A and the E string. And the difference is that the Swing Masters have round winding and the Swing Kings have a flat winding. When you go with your fingers over the windings of these strings, you will notice that these windings don't feel totally smooth like uh, flat windings from, let's say, Eva Pirazzi strings. But still, they feel very nice under the fingers. And uh, yeah, I guess you are curious to hear what they sound like. So I'm going to play the same sound examples like in the past few videos and we will talk later. So here's my personal opinion about these strings. I like them very much and I think that just like the Swing Masters, the Swing Kings are really good substitutes for real gut strings. The sound is very close to the sound of gut strings, but more than that, they function like gut strings. They have this kind of punch that you mostly only get from real gut strings. So the next question will probably be, how do I see the difference between the Swing Masters and the Swing Kings? Very difficult question. Actually, I will check myself on my string metrics on my website. Uh, I will put the sound files of these strings very soon on the metrics and I will compare myself. I think they sound very, very similar. Maybe the Swing Kings have a little more tension on these low strings which give them something more solid, more fundamental in the sound. But this is just a momentary impression. I will have to check on the string metrics if this is true. Speaking of tension, I noticed that the D string has a little less tension than the other strings. Actually, the A string feels like it has the most tension. Then comes the G and E string and then the D string. But for the playing, that was absolutely okay. 
The lower tension of the D string makes this string sound a little bit darker than the other strings, but this is a thing that you encounter also on real gut sets. So that was it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give me a like or to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to say anything about those strings or if you have some questions, write this in the comments below. Oh, and I forgot to mention one more thing. A couple of weeks ago, I created a new YouTube channel. It's called Jazz Standard Basslines. And it's actually not really for bass players. It's more for all the other instrumentalists who want to play with a bass player. Uh, so maybe some of you play another instrument and would like to play a duo with me. Check the channel. There are a couple of jazz standards and there will be more every week. And maybe this is interesting for you or for some friends who would like to play duo with a bass player. The link to my new channel is also in the description below. Okay, so I'm going to close this string presentation with a little solo tune for you. Thanks again for watching and see you again very soon. Bye-bye.